Hello there everyone, you know who I am, E.T. Templar, Alien Crusader from Beyond the Heavens, here to entertain and destroy through the power of me magic, and in this video I'm just talking about something interesting. So Disney has essentially killed Star Wars, they have killed that franchise, uh, buried it, dug up the corpse of the series, and then continued and proceed to defile that corpse. And so, for me, Disney has absolutely uh, killed and defiled Star Wars and the memory of it. But this video is about an idea Disney had called Disney Star Wars Star Cruiser Hotel. So, you're on a fake spaceship in a very shitty, bastardized version of Star Wars that's that you have scheduled events to go to. It's not like you can walk around and explore this place. There's scheduled events. There's uh, things are set up, situations. There was lightsaber training. Whoopee! So try and guess how much this shit costs. I'll, let, I'll give you guys a few seconds to formulate a number and take a, take a stab at how much this garbage costs. Remind, and remember, this is a, a fake cruise uh, in a fi fictional world that's been murdered, raped, dug up, uh, and defiled again. For two nights, all this fake horseshit can be yours. For $5,000 for two people, or $6,000 for a family of four. Yes, that's the value. So, for the value of a very real cruise that you can go on with, on a real freaking ship, with a real freaking buffet, with a real freaking open bar, with a real freaking destinations across the Caribbean or Alaska, or maybe places in Europe and hell, maybe even places along Greece, uh, Turkey, uh, Italy, and all over the world. There's cruises. So for for the price of a cruise, you can go to this fake bullshit world that's been defiled by a mega corporation. That evil little shit, Mickey Mouse. Ha ha! I've destroyed Star Wars! I fucked into the dirt! Ha ha! Or, you can take that money, set it aside, invest in your own family's futures, like college, cryptocurrency, silver, gold, foodstuffs, guns, and ammo uh, for your own survival. Or, you can take that money and go on a very real cruise. So, it, it's a no-brainer that this isn't a thing anywhere anymore. It's been cancelled, it's been shelved. Because this is Disney trying to grift off of a, a dead series. And there's even a big YouTuber called Eckert's Ladder, which he does Star Wars, like big depth, in depth Star Wars uh, detail and lore. And he even said, oh, it was, uh, it's not Star Wars anymore, it's, it's space conflict. And that's essentially what Disney has. And Disney is trying to squeeze. Every penny off the billions of dollars that Lucas sold it for, they're, they're trying to squeeze the value out of it, and it's just not working. And in, in my humble opinion, Disney is one of these mega corporations that I wish would just get smacked and go under forever. But that's not going to happen as long as there's normies who continue supporting this garbage. If there's normies that keep going to see shitty newer Star Wars movies, like the, the, the new series of Star Wars movies, in my humble opinion, I'd rather be kicked in the crotch for each new Star Wars movie than actually see them, because I detest that much. And since we're talking about Star Wars, I watched like the first 15 minutes of the new one, The Rise of Skywalker. Or was it that one? I don't fucking care. But anyway, so within the first 15 minutes, they're already breaking the lore about light speed. You know, usually when you do light speed, it's calculations. You have to, it's like specific calculations you have to make to jump to another location. But of course, within the new Star Wars, they, they take all that lore and very interesting information and then they just throw it aside and you have Poe Dameron just making jumps like this every five seconds without no calculations he's just going or oh, we're, we're skip jumping <laughs> and it's like it's it's, it's just it's crappy man but yeah who who in their right mind who which normal person would set aside five to six large to go to a fake cruise when there's very real ones you can go on with open bars 
bands, casinos. There's even have cruise ships with go karts and shit on them now. It's mind blowing. Uh, and Disney, Disney really screwed the pooch with this one, and I kind of love it. Whenever Disney gets egg on its face, it's like yes, because I fucking hate that corporation. And uh, even if someone like right now was to gift me or like donate money for a plane ticket out to California and cover fees for Disneyland, I would not go. I, I seriously wouldn't. Because here's my fond memories of Disneyland, okay? Long lines, waiting forever, and almost being trampled by Chinese nationals. Yeah, so it wasn't the very happiest place on earth, and it never was for me. Because when I was a kid, uh, I, I didn't much like Disney. And now that I'm adult and what they've done and defiled the corpse of Star Wars, I really fucking hate Disney now. And, and the normies that support this shit. So, yeah. The only thing that did look cool about Galaxy's Edge was, like, the lightsaber making. But then again, for the price of $300... Uh, you can spend like about 60 bucks and get two of your own lightsabers that they're, they're knockoffs, sure, but they still have the desired effect. <laughs> but then, then again, it's for gullible idiots who, gullible normies, and that's all I gotta say. And uh, that's my take on Star Wars Star Cruiser. Yeah, it's just... And people were complaining. They were saying, we need a more soft uh, style, kid-friendly Star Wars. And it's like, do you not know what Star Wars is about? It's a galactic civil war on a grand scale. Do you... Anyways, thanks for watching. <laughs> Leave a like. Leave a dislike. A comment below. If you had five or six grand... Would you blow it on a shitty fake experience, or would you go on a cruise in the Caribbean or a cruise somewhere else? I know I would take the cruise, because why would I want to stay on a fake star cruiser about a series that's been murdered, buried, dug up, and defiled? But anyways, <laughs> that's just my opinion. Hopefully you got a laugh. See you next time.